Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. And today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Gaming Greats Django Fett from the Star Wars Bounty Hunter video game. And I gotta say, I was very excited to get this figure. Because I had the old the, the first Django that came out and I liked him. But I saw the Gaming Greats one and I thought the paint was a little bit better on this. And the Tamara Morrison head looked better. So I decided to get him and review him for you guys. But taking a look here, you see you got this nice art image of Django Fett down here. It says that here, Bounty Hunting Greats. As you can see, it's in the classic old Black Series box on the side here. It says Gaming Greats, and it's in all in blue. It says Django Fett. And on the back, you get a little read-up here of Django Fett. If you want to read it, you can pause right now. And then there's a little bit of a art of Django here, too. And it says Star Wars Bounty Hunter again. No number, since it's part of the Gaming Greats line. And on the side, it says Django Fett here. And not much else on top or on the bottom. So let's get to it and open up Django Fett. And here is Django Fett out of the packaging. And I gotta say, this is a great figure. Uh, I really like this. I like the old one, so I was gonna like this one too. I knew it. But um, what I really like about him, though, is the paint. I just like the brighter blue here for his armor. And then the gray gloves. And for accessories, he comes with his West Stars. 34, I believe is the number, and uh, as you can see, it's the exact same gun, but this one is painted with a gray handle. Let me pull out the uh, old Django's, the Attack of the Clones Django Fett gun, so you can see. As you can see here, it's a bright blue for Attack of the Clones, but for this one, it's a gray. And then obviously, they will just plug into this holster right here. so and then you see he comes with a different jetpack so you can see this one's more like the beginning of the movie and then all of the bounty hunters game where it's the if i can get him to stop wiggling on me there we go whereas you can see it's got the lawn missile pod and it's got the jetpack ports on the side whereas for the old one as you can see it's got the his second jetpack which has the shorter missile pod and then the ports are down jet boosting ports are here and here but they both plug on the same way and you can unplug them so you just pull it off and there it is you see it's just those two little pegs in a peg hole then you can just plug it back on and if you want to you can swap them prop let me pull off that one yeah so if you want to you can put the old jet pack on the new Django figure So there you can see that. And the other thing I like is I like the armor styling because you can see this is a cleaner looking armor, whereas this one's dirty, it's seen lots of battles. As you can see, let me put that jetpack back on so I don't forget about it. And then the other thing I really like is I like that newer head sculpt on this Django. So when you remove their helmets. So as you can see. This, the old Django didn't have the facial tech used, so it looks like Tamar Morrison, but as you can see, whereas the new one, it used the facial tech, so it really looks like Tamar Morrison's Django Fett, so I really like that. But setting that aside, put on their jet, put on their helmets, so now I can do the articulation. So for Django Fett, it's the same as the last figure, you can raise his arm up that far. Rotate 360, his head can move up that far, farther without the helmet on, and then down this far. And with the helmet on, it's the same, I think, for down. Yeah. So as you can see that. Uh, he does have a swivel right here at the bicep, and he swivels at the elbow too. Uh, glove swivel here, gauntlet swivel, I should say. And he does have an elbow bend, but I will say be careful when bending the elbows because of his wires. Because as you can look with my old one, the wire snapped right in half, snapped right off from bending the elbow too much. So be wary when you bend the elbow with your Django Fets. And then as for the wrist, you can remove a wrist swivel. And then his wrists move up and down. And he has a little joint here, the diaphragm joint, so he can swivel on it, but he can't really move forward or back much. Uh, he can kick forward that far back not much spread that far he's got a bicep swivel or bicep thigh swivel excuse me 
double joint and knees. Ankles move down and up, and he has ankle pivot. And so that's it for the articulation for the Django fit. So now we'll get into his size comparisons. And so here is Django Fett for size comparisons. As you can see, Django Fett is standing just at just a little over six inches tall, if not just at six inches tall. And so for our size comparisons, here he is next to the last figure review, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger figure. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Attack of the Clones, Django Fett. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Mace Windu figure. So you can see that. Here he is next to the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure from Attack of the Clones. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Camino Guard Clone Trooper. So you can see how they scale together. And last but not least, for your six, basic six inch scale comparison, here he is next to the Star Wars The Clone Wars Captain Rex figure. So there's that. And here is Django Fett with his weapons drawn. And I gotta say, this is an amazing figure. I really love this figure. And also, I gotta say this because I forgot. I noticed now with the newer figures that Black Series has done, if they have jetpacks, there's portholes here on the jetpacks. And so what I did notice is if you have a Iron Man from the Black Series, Iron Man from Black Series, Iron Man from the Marvel Legends, excuse me, series, any of them with these kind of blaster effects, repulsive blast effects, I noticed they do fit in the jetpack thrusters so if you want you can add them onto your jetpacks make it look like they're flying so just something i noticed that i thought I'd let you guys know but like i've always heard if it's your figure you do what you want with it but anyways i want to thank you guys again for watching this video uh please leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you think let me know what I can do to make the videos better, and let me know if there's something you want to see, and I will get it and try to get it and review it for you guys. Um, I gotta say, this Django Fett, I give it, a, I'll say, a 7 out of 10. The reason it's so low is mainly because it's just a repaint of the old figure. I'll give it an 8. 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The reason it loses a couple points is because it's just the old finger re figure repainted, but I will give it... But it's still really good. It's really nicely built, just like the old Django Fett figure. And I love the new jetpack and the new headpiece. So I highly recommend getting this figure. But I want to thank you guys again for watching the video, like I said. And I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.